is a fact to make you feel old. We're celebrating the 25th anniversary of this thing in the UK. Joining us now is Professor Nigel Lynch from the University of Salford. He's an expert on iconic mobiles and he needs your help in compiling a top ten list. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. Um, first of all, how might people help compile this list? Well, 25 years of mobile phone development, we've all got our favourites. We have. Um, they've always been popular phones, and, and phones that really changed the design of the mobile phone forever. So what I'm interested in is what do people think are the top ten? So to make life a little bit easier, I've compiled um, a, 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 a long list uh, of something like 20 phones and I'm asking people to vote on which they think should be in the top ten. And some of those 20 are in front of us Some now. of them are. Sorry, right. I'm just going to give you that, sir, okay. just because we've a little bit of... Do, into... do your pop star oh, sorry, Yeah, if you could just hold it naturally, that's absolutely fine. I will absolutely try fine. my best. Yeah. Um, so, what are you going to... Sorry, I missed. What were you going to actually do with the list? What's the point to it? The, really, what I'm interested in is how has this impacted society? So, we're going to publicise the list and uh, use it as part of our public awareness of technology. So, if you go on www.iconicmobiles.com, you can look at our long list and you can pick what you think should be in the top ten from there. And that little baby's one of them there, isn't that, it? That's, that is the starting a... point. That's 1985. <laughs> it was January 1985, 1st of January, that Vodafone launched, and then on the 7th of January, 85, Cellnet, which, of course, you now know as O2, O2 yeah. uh, launched as well. But if you were around in 1985, you had to have a mobile phone that, that size. That was portable, wasn't it? That, that was intended to be mobile. It's not something you put in the car. If but you it have was strong arms, it's portable. Around, you wouldn't carry it? it very far, though. I remember, because that's the battery, isn't it? That, Most the, of that that's is the battery. battery. And then that's the phone bit. So yeah, you just, didn't, you know, it was just hilarious. There's the handset. It's Children all... across Greater Manchester I know, are they just can't picking themselves it. up off the floor with shock here at the moment, aren't they? Like... Um, so these, these were the 80s, and then we're moving, moving on. What, what sort of were the iconic ones for the 90s? OK, well, everybody remembers the, the yuppie phone, <laughs> yeah. uh, the, the brick as it's now known. What then happened was we got into the miniature phone, this one here, which is the Motorola Flip phone, uh, because this plate here uh, retracts and covers the, the uh, keyboard. Now, everybody at that time thought that the microphone was in this flip and that yeah. the aerial pulled out of the top. Yeah. You're wrong. Oh. That aerial's a piece of plastic. It's nonsense, isn't it? And yeah. that flip is, is, again, just a piece of plastic. However, at the time, mobile phones all had aerials. So the marketing people said, if it doesn't have an aerial, people won't take it as a mobile phone. As opposed to saying, this is a fabulous a bit of innovative yeah. technology and we've built the aerial in, which is what we take for granted now, don't now we? Now we do, but at the time, it's interesting that, that people wouldn't accept that. Uh, well, at least that's what the marketeers felt. And it Let's was a very talk about successful cost phone. for a second, because these days, I mean, you know, you can get a, you get a free mobile phone, can't you? But yes. when I bought mine, it was probably about £400. Sure. In about 1987. Yes. I then paid £25 a month to be on and paid call charges on top yes. of that. Yes. yes. Now, people doing contract deals again will be falling over the... What? You did it? <laughs> yeah, no, that was just the way it was, and I was young and foolish. And, and what could you do with the phone? Not very much, Make really. Make a phone call. Mm. Yeah. That, that was, was it. it. If you were lucky, if you could get the coverage, it wasn't great. Great. I used to order takeaways of mine. That's about as far as it went. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, of course, you can do so much more with your phone, although I essentially just make calls and texts on mine. But... The, 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 the mobile phone in 1985 and, and through the 80s and early 90s was exactly that. It was a mobile telephone for making telephone calls. Then when we got the digital networks, you could start to do text messaging. Now, that has grown out of all proportion. For 2008, official figures are, in this country we send two and a half thousand text messages every second. <gasps> that was the 2008 figure. Wow. Who knows what 2009 novelty, will they? They be? They put text messaging on the phones as a novelty. They had no idea it would take no off No like idea that. at all it would take off in that way. Partly, of course, it was to do with the way the costs were, were organised. It was cheaper to send a yeah. text message than make a phone call. But now, if you look at a modern phone like this Touch HTC, that is not a mobile phone. It's, no. a it's a mobile it's like a computer. computer. Yeah. It's a computer that can make phone calls, it can send text messages, it's got a 5 megapixel camera, full internet access, uh, so MP3 does, player. Does the advent of that mean we will then see the departure of the camera, the you know, portable music player and all the other things Laptops. that are in there? They're all going to disappear, aren't they? They are as separate devices. Already they sell more camera phones than they do digital cameras in the world. So that's, that, that's already crossed over. However, what that doesn't have that a digital camera has is a decent lens. Mm. 
So if they can crack that, if they can crack <laughs> that, then maybe we'll see the end of the digital camera. Well, it's, it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. It's wallowing time, in the yeah. yeah. Time well, we could speak for hours, but time is caught up with us, unfortunately. So. Good luck with compiling the list. Thank you. Um, if, if we get any information in, we'll uh, forward it on to you from our viewers. So. Yeah. Iconicmobiles.com. <laughs> Please.